Like most games, the Tekken series has an interesting range of changes that have been made to the games over the years, either in different countries around the world, or sometimes changes being made worldwide for one reason or another. For instance, did you know that this PlayStation ad for Tekken 3 got banned in the UK by the Advertising Standards Authority? As this magazine reports, the ASA thought the ad was likely to cause offence, and so not only pulled the advertising campaign, but also forced Sony to first vet all future poster advertisements through them in future. Sony defended the poster, saying it was meant to show a surreal situation by positioning the body parts in the manner reminiscent of a cartoon character, but nonetheless the ASA's decision still stood by. Moving things over to Korea, where the character Alyssa has been censored in all versions ever since her introduction in Tekken 6 Bloodline Rebellion. Whilst elsewhere the humanoid robot can sprout chainsaws during combat, all Korean versions have instead replaced these with lightsaber-like devices. That's not all though, the Korean versions also make other changes to Alyssa so that her body parts can no longer detach. This includes her head, which she will usually use in combat in various creative ways. It's not known why exactly this change has been made in Korea, although it is suspected to be due to not wanting a higher age rating, or due to the title's heavy Korean esports presence and the fact it is often broadcast on TV. Back to Tekken 3 and this time for some censorship that was made to all English versions of the game. As shown here in this split screen footage from Anna Williams ending in the original Japanese version on the right, the ending is longer and goes very differently. In the English versions, the scene ends with Anna meeting some guys by the pool and walking towards the camera with them. Over in Japan though, Nina isn't happy about this attention that she and her sister are receiving and walks up to Anna and unhooks a bra. The Japanese version then ends with Nina, not Anna, walking towards the camera. Next up we go to Germany for an interesting change that had to be made to Pokemon Tournament for Wii U and Pokemon Tournament DX for Nintendo Switch. Whilst not a true Tekken game, the title fuses elements from the Tekken series into the Pokemon universe and this is hinted at with its Pokemon name. Over in Germany though, this name has the unfortunate effect of being similar to the German word for smallpox. Thus, for all German versions, the game now instead goes by the name Pokemon Tekken instead. For another Tekken crossover game, this time we have an explanation on how this over 9,000 meme was inserted into Street Fighter X Tekken's English translation. Calculating the power levels of both fighters. Calculations complete. Starting analysis. Analysis complete. Both fighters have been positively identified. Both fighters' battle power levels are over 9,000. As the website Legends of Localization reports, everything is kept pretty similar in the Japanese version, except that instead of over 9000, the power level is given the precise number of 8782.55. <laughs> It is clear that the English localizers decided to use this as an opportunity to reference Dragon Ball Z and its popular over 9000 quote. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9000! What 9000? However, it's possible that the original Japanese version was also referencing this scene from Dragon Ball. You see, in the Japanese Dragon Ball dub, Vegeta doesn't say Goku's power level is over 9000, but over 8000, meaning the Japanese Tekken line still fits. <laughs> Moving things to Tekken 2, and another regional difference between the Western and Japanese versions. The Japanese PlayStation release actually contained a theatre mode that you could unlock, which allowed you to watch all of the game's cutscenes at your leisure. It's unknown why this was removed over in the West, but thankfully the theatre mode would return in Tekken 3, and this time would be available worldwide. And as an added bonus, it even allowed you to insert Tekken 1's and Tekken 2's discs and watch their cutscenes too. This time for not a regional difference, but an example of a game having to be altered worldwide, following a piece of text being unknowingly put in the game that was likely to cause offence. In the original versions of Tekken Tag Tournament 2, there was Arabic text on the floor of the Saudi Arabia stage, and some of this text said Allah, the Muslim name for God. Fans took to Twitter to point this out, and the series producer responded, saying, We didn't know that. We will change stage design data as soon as possible. We couldn't read that. The fact that God's name was on the floor of a fighting arena was considered disrespectful, and so the stage 
stage was promptly changed to remove this. The Tekken series is far from being a stranger to some controversy though. You may recall some of the many twists and turns that Tekken 7 took, for example, leading up to its release. For instance, at one point Harada blamed to quote SJWs and suggested that the swimsuits would be removed from the English versions to avoid any controversy. During another incident, the producer said that Lucky Chloe would be removed from the US version following criticism from some over her being too cutesy. And then there was another incident where the same producer told the world that Roger Jr. had to be removed from the Western versions over fear of complaints from animal activists. When release day came around, however, it was found that none of these reports turned out to be true. It was likely that the producer was just trying to be provocative, and so perhaps this is something you may want to keep in mind when it comes to any future incidents like these. Sticking with that last point about animal activists though, it is often reported on the web that Peter, aka People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, actually got in touch with Namco in the early 2000s and complained over Anna's Tekken 3 zebra outfit and that it promoted wearing fur. Whatever the case, while Sansa Gaming can't prove or disprove this as being true, it seems to be a very commonly held belief and it's also interesting to note how the outfit didn't make a return all the way up until Tekken 6. Anyway, that's all we have time for for today, but hopefully you now learnt a few new things about the different versions of Tekken around the world. Think we've missed anything? Please let us know in the comments below and let us know what games you want us to take a look at next. Until next time, thank you for watching.